Hello, good afternoon. I'm back, Lucha FM, with another episode of the Fight Club Pro Save on TW 2020. And uh, where you left us off last, we had nothing but chaos backstage. Um, Trent Seven was rubbing a lot of people up the wrong way. So we, uh, by the end of the episode, I decided to make some changes to the staff. Um, we've got, we've still got a few issues. The new, um, I can't remember who it is, head road agent, Luke Margera. I think it's him. Um, he's having a few issues. I think whoever's in charge, they're going to have somebody not like them. It's just, it's just what it is. It's, it's a, it's part of the game. I don't particularly like it's making it feel more like a soap opera than an actual wrestling game. And don't get me wrong. There is soap opera in wrestling. I know, but it's like, I just want to, I just want to book matches and have a bit of fun. I don't want to have to deal with crying, moaning wrestlers, kicking off all the time. I feel like a bloody social worker at the moment. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, we, we managed to book some decent shows. And we had a good, we've had, I had a good time booking it. So hopefully this episode will be a bit of the same, less chaos, more just good matches and, and stuff like that. So yeah, so I'll be back in a minute and we'll start the first show of the episode. Right. Here we are. We've got the uh, our first event of the episode. Um, FCP gone too far tonight. Um, we are quite in the depth at the moment, but there's nothing really we can do about it. We've just got to keep going, hope for the best. Hope I don't become... If, if it gets to the point where I'm on the verge of becoming bankrupt, then I will have to use the editor. But until that happens, I'm just going to keep going. Um, I have to stay, stay Starworks... Yeah, Starworks Warehouse as the venue. Booking team. Uh, right. Jetta um, and Trent did the training drills. Ashley Dunn and Des Robinson were really getting on but well back to Oh, that's, that's good. There you go. That's good to see. Um, oh, Clint, what are you doing? Clint Margaro turned up late breaking the locker room rules. Um, Callum Newman came to you backstage with an idea of creative finish. Okay, uh, Brendan White was clearly not happy with Clint Margera, apparently irritated by the morale of his team building. Right, at least it's not as bad as when Trent was in there. Um, still not perfect though, just yet. Right, there we go. Book our first match. What we'll do, we'll do a one on one match, and we'll do. Nilly versus I think Jetta for the women's title. We'll have it as we'll have Nilly win. Um, let me know in the comments section if you rather I not tell you who who's gonna win and, and try and disguise it from me. I don't know. Um, let me know. I think that's really. That'll be really difficult for me to do when it comes to editing. So actually ignore that. <laughs> and then we'll do Jetta fighting. And we'll put Millie fighting. So it'll be like a, a brawl after the match. So what it'll be, it'll be, I'll just put brawl. All right, so that's that. Kick off the show. And then we'll do Dave Mastiff versus Jody Fleisch. Big man versus small man, even though Jody Flash is not a small man in height, but you know what I mean. Uh, 15 minutes. We'll leave it blank. Open match. And then what we'll do now, we'll do Kenny Williams versus Kid Lycos. Two. He's the better one out of the two of them. Do that. We'll do 17 minutes. We'll, we'll go steal the show. I think them two are capable of doing that. Oh, okay. Change it to 15. Sorted. Right. And then what we'll do afterwards, we'll do Kenny Williams, Taka. Sorry. Right. Kid like us two. Victim. So we'll go Williams. Like I said, I hate doing angles, but because of this project, I have to do them. Um, we'll do 
the match. I'm going to give Callum a new man a try because I think he's pretty good actually. He's doing, is, he, is he in New Japan? I think he's in New Japan at the moment. We'll have him against Brendan White. We'll have Brendan White winning. That's the match. And then what we'll do is we'll do Brendan White attacking afterwards. Yeah, like so. Uh, how long have we got left? A three minutes. We can still do some more matches. So we'll do. Actually, we won't do that. We'll do a tag team match. Because all these matches have been singles matches so far. So we'll do a tag team title match. And I think the champ champions are. Yeah, there we go. So we'll do Mark Andrews, Flash Morgan Webster, men's. Uh, Second division, so we can either have. Actually, we're quite limited in who we can have, so I'm going to do the Marauders. Seventeen minutes to put the tag titles on the line, and we'll have the tag champions retain. That's the match. Call that match. All right, so we've got a room for one more match. Actually, no, we haven't really. Uh, we've got 12 minutes left. We could do a quick match, actually, to be honest. 10 minutes, we'll do... We'll do Trent versus Rampage Brown. Oh, no. 10 minutes. Rampage retaining. Actually, do you know what? I'll no. I'm gonna have, no. I am gonna have him retain it. Leave it as it is. We'll do storytelling. There we go. Oh, got to put the title on the line. Okay. Right. So Trent's being a little diva playing in the game so we'll just leave it blank because there'll probably be a spoiler in what's going to happen in the main event but I want to keep Trent happy because he is my best worker in, on the game on this database by the looks of it so we need to keep him as happy as possible anyway let's we've started the show uh Millie retains the title got us 39 for the segment 35 for the wrestling 41 for Millie in performance uh get was okay but nothing special and the left was got 22 um, Jody Flash defeated Dave Mastiff with the 720 Phoenix DDT. I'm amazed he can still do that, bless him. Um, second got 40, wrestling got 40, and then Jody Flash was the stand up performer with 43. Clint McGarrow could have done a better job as road agent. And then um, Kenny Williams defeated Kid Lycos 2. Got a 38 rate for the second and 37 for the wrestling, and Kid Lycos 2 was the stand up performer. Uh, with 42. Angle afterwards got 23. Um, Brendan White defeated Callum Newman. Got 41 rating for both segment and wrestling rating. Uh, Callum Newman was really good with 44. Brendan White was decent as well. Angle afterwards got 24. And then um, Subculture defeated the Marauders. Um, shooting star pressed by Mark Andrews. They've made defense number two. Second got 49, wrestling got 45. Flash Morgan Webster was the best one out of the four with 54. Uh, Mark Andrews wasn't far away from him with 52. And then the main event got a 44, Trent Seven defeated Rampage Brown. That got a um, that means Trent's won the Fight Club Pro Heavyweight title again. Seven got 44. So did the wrestling. Trent was the standout performer in this match with a 50 rating. Click on this. So we increased our popularity in one region. We only got 42 for the overall rating and we got 80 people in, which is probably our biggest attendance so far. Um, just put this 
good example. Kid life boss two, good example. There we go. Make it back and happy. We lost three thousand seven hundred and twenty-eight, which is less than we usually lose because we obviously made more in ticket sales, but still not good overall. Still got a popularity of twelve in the Midlands. So not too bad to start the show. Uh, start the episode, sorry. Not too bad at all. Let's just wait for this to finish. See if there's any news, any inbox items. <coughs> sorry for my croaky voice today. Same old, same old. Right, no news, so we'll just crack on. Um, oh, it's all right. We can just do this. Wait for this to process, and then we'll be able to kick on with uh, another episode of Blackout. So uh, just uh, feel free to fast forward a few seconds if you want. But I think we're good to go in a second. There we are. Right. So as always, we'll do the star works. We'll leave that. Right, let's have a look, see how many incidents we got. Okay, so training, training. Um, Brady Phillips was brought to wrestler's court, accused of being sought by his phone. All right. Mark Haskins is spreading rumours about Wild Ball, which almost got in a fight between them. Mark Haskins is a naughty boy. Flash Morgan Webster got in a lot of heat for the rest of the locker room for his selfish behaviour. And then Flash Morgan Webster had a small backstage clash with Sid Margera. Right, so we need to do, I think we need to do a rib on Mark Haskins. What we'll do, the elaborate plot. Your rib has gone down well with the rest of the locker room. Good. There we go. Happy days. Made Mark Haskins look like a right mug. Right, so what we're going to do is we'll start. This Cam Newman impressed me. We'll have him against Kenny Williams. Kick off the show to 17 minutes. We'll go steal the show. But no, no, I don't want to call it in the ring. Open match. Oh, well. Script. Call that match. Um, actually, hold on. Let's get rid of that altogether. There we go. So Callum Newman can't go all out for the more than 15 minutes by the looks of it. And then we'll do Kenny Williams attacking him after the match. to it I will say keep strong Brendan White in case even if he loses he'll look good for it uh, and then obviously we'll do Brendan White attacking him afterwards ah, this, uh, this sounds so wrong me putting this White attacks Brown oh Jesus Christ um, yeah anyway right let's crack on um, I should make him a tag team, shouldn't I? White, it's called white and brown, but I feel like that's offensive in some way. I don't know why. Uh, right, so 44 minutes done. We've got quite a bit left, so we'll do a women's match now. Uh, we'll leave, we'll let Millie have a, Millie McKenzie have a break. Uh, exclude or the book. We'll do session Mark Ma Martina. We'll have her against... Uh, Chantel Jordan. Leave it blank, like so. And then what we'll do now is we'll do another match and we'll do Mark Haskins. No, Mark Andrews actually versus Mark Haskins. There we go. We'll have it 20 minutes. We'll go steal the show, open match. 
Fallout match. Hopefully both work to do that. start the show so the opening match Kenny Williams won um, 37 for the segment 35 for the wrestling uh, Callum Newman was better than Kenny Williams in the ring Kenny Williams seems off his game a lot lately segment afterwards got a 28 and then Rampage Brown defeated Brendan White got a 40 rating for the segment 42 for the wrestling Rampage Brown was slightly better than Brendan White, but Brendan White's improving in the ring lately, which is good. Angle after has got 30. And then Session Moth Martina uh, defeated Chantel Jordan with the Satellite DDT. Segment got 33, wrestling was 34, and um, Session Moth Martina got 39, which isn't too bad at all. And then the main event, Mark Andrews defeated Mark Haskins with the Shooting Star Press. 47 for the segment, 39 for the wrestling. Mark Andrews above and beyond, better than Mark Haskins. Improved our popularity in one region, overall rating 42. 61 people turned up, which is pretty good for a blackout episode. Uh, we won't bother with that. Financial report, not too good. 3,300. Well, I think uh, I think our ticket sales are going up slightly, so I think we're getting more people in. There you go. We're now 13 in the Midlands. So that's good. Hopefully we can get a local TV deal. I will have a look. I'm probably not going to have any options at the moment. But I will have a quick look. I'll also have a look at the creative side of things. Um, so let's go. Oops, that's why I've got one of the next broadcasters. So nobody wants to know at the moment. Let's just reset that. And then Yes, probably won't come up with anything. No. So there you go. So we're still not popular enough. We've still got to take the hit financially for now. Uh, actually, let me have a look at the finances because we are in... Let's see how the alliance payouts happening. There we go. So how much did we get from the alliance? Zero. Oh. So we're now in an alliance that doesn't actually give us any money. So what's this all about then? Um, can we propose a loan? Oh, no, no. I thought that was like a bank loan, but no. It means loan of a wrestler. Uh, can we invite other promotions? Let's try. Let's try. Should we try All Elite? Probably won't let us. Nah. I need a big promotion, really. Should we try Ring of Honor? Probably the same. Yeah. Nah, we've got no chance. Um... I think it's pretty pointless being in this alliance at this point. So I'll leave it for now. If you're only a member of the wrestling, the National Wrestling Alliance, this means that you can have your prestige and momentum affected by other members' fortunes. Actually, so it might benefit us in the long run to have them in the alliance, be in the alliance with them because if they do well, we do well. You must only run shows in your home nation, the home region, and propose talent trades with any other member. Uh, yeah, so we'll we'll leave that for now. Uh, and then let's have a look at creative. So they're saying Rampage Brown's our biggest star, followed by Session Moth Martina, followed by Mark Lowe through an entrance seven, and then Luke Jacobs. So we need to be pushing Luke Jacobs a bit, to be honest. <coughs> Hot prospects is Raven Creed and Brady Phillips. Uh, let's have a look at the spots there. Let's see what they put. 25 year old Brady Phillips is the dark horse for future, future success. So definite signs that he's going to turn out to be a really fine in ring performer. Okay, so we'll start. Pushing him as well as Brendan White then. And then we've got the Talk the Talk. We've got Session Mark Martina, Bredo Trent, uh, Leighton Buzzard and Nathan Cruz. I forgot I've got Leighton Buzzard. I need to start putting him in the mix. Um, Michael Oku is our best showstopper, followed by Mark Andrews, Ricky Knight Jr., Mark Haskins, Kid Lycos. Ring Generals, Michael Oku, Mark Andrews, Trent Seven, Luke Jacobs and Jody Fleisch. Who's hot at the moment? Trent Seven, Millie McKenzie, Will Cruz, Robbie Eck, and Rampage Brown. Um, who's not? Dave Mastiff, Iceland Rees, Matthew Horgan, and Angie and Joseph Connors. Let's have a look if there's anybody worth signing here. Mm, not anybody that's taking my Ash Shakara, maybe. Yeah, we'll sign her. She'd be a good addition to the women's roster. 
Uh, I think the rest I'm not too bothered about. We're quite stacked in the men's divisions at the moment. Right then, on that note, I'll be back in a sec with the next part of the episode. Right, we're back with the next episode. Uh, just to let you know, I have got new, uh, new commentary team. I will show you in a second. Let me get back to me. Do all this first. Done. All right, locker room instance. Uh, Dean Ayers was brought to rest and caught, accused uh, of annoying everyone with constant boasting and cocky attitude. Uh, Jack Styles was brought to rest and caught, accused of joining the wrestler locker room for a night out. Okay. I don't see how that's punishable, that though. Um, Brendan White got in a heat argument with a fan outside. Okay. And then TK Cooper has been spreading rumors about Mark Haskins, also had a big fist fight. Apparently, Marty Bird and Callum Knight had a blazing argument. Nothing good, nothing good as always. This is driving me mad now. Apparently, Mike Bird and Grado have bonded recently, so that's good. At least want something good come out of it. Right. Um, how do I show you? Yeah, okay, commentary. So this is our new commentary team. Hope you can see this. Um, let me just check. Yeah, you can. Right, let me go back. Sorry. I just wanted to make sure I had a feeling then for a second. Um, right, so this is our new commentary team. So we've, kept, we've still got Dan Reed, but we've also got Matthew Gregg, who everybody knows as uh, Botchamania Matthew, and also from Holaholic Podcast, my favourite podcast, and also Tom Campbell, who is also on Holaholic, and he's also a ring announcer for all sorts of UK companies like North Wrestling. He's also done... He also did a bit of announcing for TNA when they went and did their UK tour. Um, and he, in general, he's a good he's a good lad. And he lives near where I used to live. So he's, he's uh, as far as I'm concerned, he's, he can't do anything wrong. So hopefully that will help in some way make the better commentary team. I can put Dean Ayers in there as well if one of them doesn't work out. So we'll see. Anyway, let's see how we get on here. So we'll do Lee Hunter versus Amir Jordan as the first match. We'll leave it blank. And we'll, we'll just have Amir Jordan attacking Lee Hunter after the match. And then what we'll do, we'll do Brady Phillips versus Grado. We'll have Brady Phillips win. We'll protect. No, we won't. We'll keep strong Grado. And then we'll do Brady Phillips attacking Grado after the match. So there we go, right, that's that. Then we'll do a female match, and we'll have the debut of Shikara. She can go against Mercedes Blaze. And we'll have Shikara win this. We'll have, um, we'll have her dominate in the match as well. In fact, we'll keep it short, we'll keep it to 10 minutes. Right, so that's that. And then we'll do one more. Well, we could do two matches actually, to be honest. We'll do Elijah, because he hasn't wrestled for a while for us. We'll have him against Blackmore and Webster. We'll go 15 minutes. We'll leave it blank, but Flash will probably win. And then what we'll do, we've got one more match in us. So we'll do men's. Exclude already booked. Uh, I'm just curious what a match between Kid Lycos and Kid Lycos 2 would be like. So we'll do that match. And we'll have it for like 15 minutes because I know what will happen. If I have it longer than 15 minutes, I'll say it's too long. So open match, all that match, steal the show. Just change the road agent. Williams. Right then, let's crack on. Right, so the first match 
Um, Lee Hunter defeated Amir Jordan with a sc scoop and reverse DDT. The second got a 43, the wrestling got a 40, and uh, Lee Hunter was the, the best wrestler in the match. Um, that's a good start. The angle afterwards only got 16. Um, Brady Phillips defeated Grado, got a 23 rank for the segment, 27 for the wrestling. Grado was slightly better, but both were not very good. You just gotta probably just put Brady Phillips in there with better workers, even if he doesn't win. And then once he gets to a certain point, we'll start pushing him maybe. Uh, segment Angle Atoms only got 16. And then the debut of Shakara, um, she beat Mercedes Blaze in less than 10 minutes with the Widow's Peak. Got a 22 for the segment, 26 for the wrestling. Um, Mercedes Blaze, Blaze was slightly better in the ring. Um, Flash Morgan Webster defeated Elijah in the UK, and then the second got 39, wrestling got 38. Um, Elijah did okay, but you know, was carried basically by Flash Morgan Webster. And then Kid Lycos defeated, sorry, Kid Lycos 2 defeated Kid Lycos in 15 minutes by pinfall. The second got 48, the wrestling got 42, so this was probably match of the night. They obviously went all out as well. Um, so that's really good. So we've increased our popularity in one region. We've got 42 again, 61 people turned up. So not too bad. So I'm just going to put Kid Lycos. Yeah, Kid Lycos 2. Okay, so we uh, we're down three. We lost three thousand four hundred thirty-five pounds. Still got thirteen in the Midlands. Not for that. So I'll be back in a sec with the last show of the. All right, we're back for the final episode of Blackout. Um, so Starworks, Booker Team, and all that for now. All right. Uh, training as always, and then TK Cooper almost got into a fight with Trent Seven. Great. Um, Steve Linsky was brought before wrestlers court, accused of being, accused of being too late to pick up uh, the assigned travel partner. Okay. Jim Hunter came into the backstage with an idea of enhancing his character. Oh, I went a bit too far then. Sorry. Ashton Smith was clearly not happy with Clint Margera. Apparently irked, uh, irritated by the morale of building maybe we need to look at getting somebody else in as morale officer <clears throat> right then let's, let's try and book a good show to end this episode so we'll go singles matches um, and we'll do Mark Andrews to kick off the show man like the Reese uh, them two hopefully have a banger of a match Versus um, who I've got, uh, Will Cruz, he hasn't wrestled for a while. Little man, big man match should be pretty good. We'll leave it blank for 15 minutes and then we'll just have Will Cruz attack him after the match. So, how are we doing so far? Right, we need a women's match from this now. We'll have Millie. Millie, she hasn't wrestled for a few yet. And we'll have her against Raven McCree. I don't think she's wrestled for us yet. So, 15 minutes. Millie McKenzie, keep strong Raven McCree. Title on the line. Um, right, within 61 minutes, we've got enough time for one more match. So we'll do Rampage Brown versus. <coughs> uh, Satan Buzzard? I don't know. 
don't type site. Don't type file. I type, can't do latent buzzer for some reason. Obviously not about loop Jason. There you go. Give him a bit of a main event rub. Just leave it as that. Start the show. So Mark Andrews defeating Man Like Jarese with the shooting star press. Uh, the second got 44, so did the wrestling. Both did a pretty decent, but Mark Andrews obviously standing out. He's the best one out of the two. So I'd say him and Trent are probably my two best in-ring workers. Maybe Flash Morgan Webster and Kenny Williams as well in the mix. But I think, I think Trent on this database and Mark Andrews seems to be the best two. The angle after has got 28. And then Flash Morgan Webster defeat Will Cruz, got a 38 rating for the segment, 37 for the wrestling. Flash Morgan Webster with a 43, Will Cruz with a 30. They didn't, they don't really click, so that's probably why it didn't really work. The segment after has got 32. Uh, the women's match got uh, Minna McKenzie retained the title. She's now defended it eight times. Got 36 for the segment, 40 for the wrestling. Uh, Minna McKenzie. Probably my best women's worker and also one of my best overall workers on the roster with a 52 right here. Carried Raven Creed to a decent match. Raven Creed only got a 27. And then the main event, Rampage Brown defeated Luke Jacobs. Got a 44 rate for the segment and the wrestling. Um, Luke Jacobs with a 51. Oh my god. So maybe I'm uh, Luke Jacobs, one of my best workers. Maybe he needs to get more of a push now. That surprised me. I knew, no, I, was, I know he's good, but um, yeah, that's that's a good surprise. It's a nice surprise. Maybe I'll start pushing him. So we'll do Luke Jacobs and then Millie McKenzie as well. Obviously, we've got the Lycos, the Kid Lycos uh, 1 and 2 as well. They're very good. More Kid Lycos 2 than Kid Lycos 1, but they're pretty good overall. Um, Three thousand four hundred and seven pounds. I think that's slightly less than the last one. I'm not going to read too much into that, but if we get if we get less and less depth every show, the aim is hopefully is one day to be able to at least like break even and then eventually start making some profit. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, not a bad show to end the episode. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day now. Um, just pull this across here. Sorry, bear with us. There we go. So, yeah, um, good episode. I enjoyed that. Nice to see Luke Jacobs surprising me as well. Hopefully he'll get a bit of a push down the road as we go along. But I think I think moving forward, our best workers are Millie McKenzie, Trent Seven, uh, Luke Jacobs, obviously, and then um, Mark Andrews, Flash Morgan Webster, maybe Kenny Williams. But... We're starting to build a bit of a, a decent in-ring roster now, so we can kind of, you know, produce some good matches overall. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Let me know in the comment section what you thought. I do appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as well as the previous one. Um, I'm hoping that the rest has reinvigorated me and also made it more entertaining for you. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Enjoy the rest of the weekend, and I'll be back next week with another episode. Bye.